I'm 680 News Senior Business Editor Mike Eppel. We're a day away from the Bank of Canada setting interest rate policy. And today we saw the Canadian dollar drop to a two-month low. We're very close to it. Below 75 cents U.S. is a lot of currency watchers and interest rate prognosticators are thinking the Bank of Canada might not be doing anything with interest rates this year. It follows the recent signals that pointed to a slowing Canadian economy in the later stages of 2018. Low inflation. Was this the fallout from the Bank of Canada raising interest rates fairly aggressively last year by three times and up for five times over the past year and a half? Bank of Canada has talked about wanting to raise rates further, but with the economic signals as weak as they are right now, likely won't be able to do so. Now, those interest rate hikes have started to uh, have Canadian consumers feeling the pinch of higher borrowing costs. Mortgage and debt delinquency rates started to rise in the second half of last year, according to some data in from Equifax Canada. The total consumer debt, including mortgages, now stands at $1.9 trillion across the country. The average non-mortgage debt is at $23,000 across the country. So Equifax saying that we're starting to see delinquency rates, that means not paying for 90 days or longer, start to climb, albeit slightly. Uh, some of the hardest hit provinces include Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Ontario's delinquency rates are actually coming down just a little bit. And more slowing signals on the country's two biggest cities when it comes to real estate. Toronto's real estate numbers in for February, according to the Toronto Real Estate Board, show a rise in prices with the average price up by 1.5% to $780,000. But sales last month slowed by 2.5% to just over 5,000 transactions. Treb saying this is the fallout from tighter mortgage rules and restrictions that came in at the start of last year. They're actually looking for the federal government to loosen up a little bit on that. And also fewer listings, with new listings falling by 6% year over year. And that's just some sellers just staying on the sidelines. So with a few new listings, we're still seeing prices go up as buyers continue to search for properties. And Vancouver's real estate numbers for February were not good, with a year-over-year -year slowdown in sales at 32% drop compared to February a year ago. The average price of a detached property in Vancouver proper now is at $1.4 million. That's down over 16% on a year-over-year -year comparison. And a Canadian invention is going global. The maker of the Instant Pot out of Kanata, Ontario, has reached a deal to be merged with the maker of Pyrex cookware and corningware, Corel Brands out of the United States. Instant Pot was developed by a former Nortel engineer, Robert Wang. Back in 2010, it hit the market after a $350,000 investment to develop the uh, stylized pressure cooker. It was a viral media sensation. Not much marketing, more about social media word of mouth with the Instant Pot which is said to be now perhaps worth around $2 billion. They're going to take this and market it globally through the Corel Brands Marketing Network. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.